So let's dig in here with the interface of Juice and let me show you how to work. So we're gonna walk through all of these aspects. So it's broken up into three different pages. We have the home page uh, where you can access all of the sounds and all of the patches. We have uh, the FX page, which we're going to talk about in detail later. And we have the drums page, which we're going to also talk about in detail. All right. Uh, so you have your envelopes, your LFOs, your ASDR tag, you know, release and uh, sustain and decay and all of those good things like that, your meters, uh, you have a plug-in resize, you can use that to make it uh, bigger or smaller, smaller resize the interface. Uh, you have access to your verb and delay right here on the front page. You have a preset up and down button where you can cycle through the presets. You can also cycle through them using the up and down keys on your laptop, but in order to access the sound, you actually have to uh, hit the enter key to load that sound. So I can go down to disco bass and hit enter, and then it will bring up that particular uh, sound or whatever. All right, so you can also click on them. So either way, you can interface with uh, the preset browser. All right, over here, we have a low pass uh, and a high pass, and we have a stereo width, which allows you to go from extra wide stereo 200% all the way down to zero, which is mono. So if you have a sound for whatever reason, you feel like it's too wide or you want it to be mono, just shrink it down using the uh, stereo whip. Moving on over here, we have actual drum pads that work with the drum. So if I load up a drum kit and start playing it, and this also coordinates with the drum page, which we will talk about a little bit later all right but these pads also work they work in any mode i mean if i pull up this sound it's going to play it so you kind of have to think about juice as like a midi controller for the sounds it is the interface so i thought about that when we were building it it's like it's got to feel like as if i had a midi controller in front of me or whatever so like i can actually click these sounds because if you got a midi controller that has pads on it you know if you hit those pads you know what i mean while you're playing um you know what i'm saying any sound if you pull up a bass or a guitar or whatever it's gonna play those sounds on the pads or what have you and that's how juice works as well all right uh over here we've got the fx knob where you can control the overall volume on like the reverb and delay uh and then you've got an overall volume on the drums and then you've got a, a master uh volume right here these faders can be reset to whatever default position just by double clicking so if i have it here and I want to reset it, you just double click, it'll bring it back. Also, I want to note that everything on this interface is MIDI mappable, which is going to come into play later on. You can MIDI map, learn MIDI CC, and turn a knob on your controller, and you can be able to uh, control any aspect of juice from your MIDI controller, which I think is really, really cool. Last but not least, uh, we have the center focus, which is the juice knob. And as you can see, when you turn the knob, juice begins to appear on the actual interface, which I think is a really cool touch. That was Delo's idea. He mentioned that and was like, okay, let's see if we can build that. Let's see if we can put that in. And I thought it was really, really cool. And so we worked to get that in there and make that work or what have you to give you a nice visual. Um, clue or a key indicator of what's actually going on so you have no juice and then you have juicy all right so so let me find a patch that really digs into what the juice knob is capable of so if i turn the juice down on storm which is one of my favorite synths right then we turn the juice knob up let's turn it up just a little juice oh you start here reverb like a patch like one of my favorites uh which is uh i think it's called uh clown when you bring that in adds in another layer good again no juice you got some nice vibe but you bring bring the juice in really really cool uh, way that the juice knob kind of works. So you can kind of experiment with that and play around with that in your own productions. Maybe you want some juice on something. Maybe you don't want any juice. Uh, it works really, really good with like a piano. So if I pull up like... Right? But if I turn up the juice knob, it gives the piano more body and resonance.
You know what I'm saying? So it's really, really cool. Uh, juice always adds some juice to the sound. It really like beefs it up and makes it uh, makes it kind of come to life, so to speak. So that is one of the key features of the juice plugin. Got the juice.